According to new research, straight people may not actually exist. Uh, let me uh, boil this down a little bit more than just that uh, outrageous headline. Uh, so this <laughs> comes from Rich C. Savin Williams. Uh, he's the director of developmental psychology and the director of sex and gender lab in the Department of Human Development at Cornell University. And now you know why I read it and didn't memorize it myself. That's a very <laughs> long title. Um, and this study was recently published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. And it pretty much undermines the idea of a heteronormative uh, sexual orientation. So according to the study, it looked at gender expression in women uh, and measure, measured a physiological response uh, viewing a variety of porn, hetero porn and uh, women on women porn. And um, it found that regardless of how women self-reported their sexuality, their bodies responded uh, both positively to hetero and homosexual sex. Uh, meaning that sexuality is complex and not within the bounds of strict hetero or homosexuality. Uh, so this actually went on um, the basis of eye dilation, right. pupil dilation, when you're looking at something, if your eyes dilate or not, because that is an involuntary response. Um, it's not really, my problem with this is that it's, I don't know if that's the best way of indicating sexual interest yeah. as opposed to interest. Or, and also specifically, um, arousal in terms of whether or not you're seeing another woman or if you're seeing a sexual situation. Mm -hmm. Cause that, I mean, I, I mean, I would, I would just, I would say the, the fluidity argument is a really important discussion to have because, you know, of, of specific boxes are ones that we ourselves created. However, I don't know that this looking at pupil dilate, I mean, I, my eyes dilate if I see a cookie. My so, eyes dilate when I see cats, yep. when I see a cake, when I see something that looks cool, like that little toy alpaca on the mm -hmm, table. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's not cute. My eyes are dilated. Doesn't mean I want to fuck it. Right. Uh, so. I'm, I'm so pleased to hear that, Kim. Um, but yeah, like if I see the new Star Wars trailer, definite eye dilation. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, it would be different if they did a, a full study in terms of, I mean, I, and I, I know they said in the report that, you know, studying genital reaction is a little invasive. It, it would have to be like invasive. a. Yeah. But I'm sure you can find people who would volunteer. I would it. imagine you probably could. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, so it's the study itself that I'm a little. I'm a little iffy on the methodology yeah. of the study, though the ideas are very intriguing. Right, absolutely. So, uh, uh, Savins Williams talks a lot about uh, the study and what it could imply. And the implication there is that no one is really 100%, you know, heteronormative as uh, society has taught us that we are, you know. He talks about um, you know men getting crap for uh, not having for having attraction to other men and having to fit this role of I'm a man and I like football <laughs> and I'm macho and I only like vagina you know and it's it's kind of if you think about it it's you know that's going to be a cultural gift, right? thing do it I don't care I love <laughs> gifts of my face <laughs> that's that a good one I said it and I stand by it. Um, <laughs> So it's just interesting to explore that idea, uh, you know, and then the, the idea that uh, the doctor discussed, actually I don't know if he's a doctor or not, it doesn't say doctor anywhere in the study, um, the researcher discussed, which was that uh, he believes that uh, homosexual men and women do feel a bit more freedom uh, when expressing their uh, sexual sexuality and have higher self-esteem. I don't know if that's necessarily true, this is the, this person's opinion. Uh, but then that moves on to the idea that children, you know, the next generation of uh, just growing up uh, feels less bound to having to fit into certain uh, uh, places where they would have to conform. Yeah, specific boxes or specific labels that were created. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, look, it's a really important discussion to have. I think it's, I think it's a good starting place. I just don't necessarily think this particular study yeah, is... It's, it's, a, it's a nice discussion and yeah, a nice yeah. idea, though I don't... I really don't like the methodology. Yeah, yeah. You know, because pupil dilation can mean a lot of things besides sexual arousal. Cookies. Hunger. Cookies. Cute. Star Wars. <laughs> don't have sex with that. <laughs> 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 I can resist, and I think most of us can. That's best. Uh, audience, what do you think of this study? And do your pupils dilate when you see anything of interest? Let us know below in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more.